a bear hug with your arms pinned, okay? Look at the way his hands are, okay? Change your grip. Do something different. Okay. I like this. Good, okay, good. See, okay, change your grip again. Okay, change your grip again. Okay. Somehow, someway, the top of his hands are exposed. He's not going to hold me. Palms up, palms up. Well, he's not going to hold me like that. He's not going to hold me like that. Okay? Somehow, some way, in order to affect the bear hug, your, the tops of your hands have to be shown. Okay? So, everybody look at your hands. Okay? So, if you don't know anatomy, the little bones inside the tops of your hands are called metacarpals. Okay? Tiny little bones. Okay? That, that make up the structure of the hand. All right. We're going to attack the metacarpals. Okay? In one of two ways. Okay? I want you to take your hand and make a fist. Okay? And we're going to focus on the second line of knuckles right here. Okay? And that's what you're going to either hit with or you're going to do a cheese grater. Okay? Now, the idea is this, and I'll let you do this all on me, so I'm going to have to switch hands halfway through probably. The idea is this. You want the grab to be released. You're trying to get them to open up their hands. Does that make sense? So if I stomp the foot, it's not going to open? You're very perceptive. We're actually, no, maybe not. Because, man, okay. okay, let's say, okay, let's say, let's say I'm doing this, hey, this got my feet. <laughs> 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 I would try to kick you. Yeah, maybe. If I'm hanging up there. Maybe. But the, but the, but the, the thing is this. But the thing is this, you know. You really can't see the target. That's that's a viable. That's don't worry. You know, I'm, do that. That's good. But the whole idea is you want to get out of the hole. You know, and you're kicking like this. What if you're missing? You're wasting energy. This takes no energy. This takes none. Okay. So this is the idea. So come here, again, right? So I'm using a tall guy here. Okay. So look, so look where he grabs me. If he grabs me higher on my arms, higher on my arms. Okay. I don't. It's not a hole. <laughs> If he grabs me lower on my arms, it's not a hole. He's got to grab me right pretty much in the middle. See, I have free motion of my arms. Hold me lower. I still have free motion. I can reach. I can reach his hands. Does that make sense? OK. So what you're going to do is, once again, what's the first thing we should do? Stabilize. So in this case, he's right behind me. We're going to open up into what we call a horse stance. Or just open your legs up so that you're stable and your center of gravity is lower. OK? You're going to take one or both hands. And you're, you're going to take the second line of knuckles and either hit, hit his metacarpals, or take it and do the cheese grater. Okay? Right on top. Okay? Until he lets go. Okay? He can't do anything else to you because he's holding you. He's only got two arms. Unless he's a super big guy and he's giving you up with one hand, which in that case you only have one arm to deal with. Does that make sense? In this case, see, he's a skinny guy, so look, my, my arm, see, I can't even do this. One hand is way over here, so I'm going to attack the hand, he's going to attack the hand that's closest. So stabilize first, stabilize first, okay, go. Ow, right there. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Harder, harder. Harder, harder. Ow, right there. Like your life depended on it. Harder, harder. She's great. She's great. Right there. See, that one doesn't always work. So hit. Stabilize first. Good. Aya. Stabilize first. Good. Aya. So we stabilize, right? Stabilize. Okay? Hit, 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 hit. Now, as you're doing this, now we're going to do a lot of this right now. We're going to do this. Okay? We're going to do this, okay? So as you're doing this, you can stomp the foot as well. Stomp, stomp. So you're doing a few things at once, kind of like a gorilla. Right? Stomp, stomp, hit, stomp, hit. Whatever you can, you just want to let go. Now, once they start to loosen, take your elbow and swing it back. Hit, 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 and run. Make sense? Okay, real simple, real simple. Okay, three, really basically three moves. Knuckle, stomp, elbow, that's it. One attack back class that I taught, the, one of the ladies in the class worked uh, at a nightclub um, doing bottle service. And she had just taken my class that day. And she was serving somebody, and I guess the guy had some, too much to drink, and he grabbed her hand 
and she was walking away from the table, and she actually went bam, bam, and, and made him let go. So she actually she came back the next week and said, "I used one of the techniques. That was awesome." You know. So like I said, it, it, it doesn't take really a lot of physical efforts. Just you need the knowledge of how to strike and where to strike. Self-defense. A lot of people have the misconception that you need to be big and strong, okay, to make the the, the stuff work. Now, yes, size helps sometimes. Yes, strength helps sometimes. But that's not really the case. You know, martial arts were developed by people who were smaller, who needed the ability to handle others with more either physical power or more skill. You know, so yeah, something like that it doesn't take a lot. So any questions on that piercing the top?